Hey guys, Bio Hello here. This is Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. And in the last episode, we left off in the middle of a battle. And Gyarados grew to level 25 and is trying to learn Dragon Rage. Ooh, this will be interesting. Let's delete Splash. Now, Dragon Rage will. Is one of those fixed damage attacks? It is 40 damage though. At this stage of the game, it's pretty significant. And it's also pretty useful strategically later on. You deceive me? What? Oh yeah, I used my last paralyzed heal, right. I'll be going back to the Pokemon Center, but... And then I'll also continue talking about Pokemon, you know, the third generation when I left off. You know, this Poketype bicycle theme reminds me of, you know, a family trip to the Appalachians and then to Georgia when I was three, so I barely remember it at all. Like, the only memory I have is, like, you know, of that whole trip is... You I guess in the Appalachians area or in Atlanta, like along the East Coast or somewhere. Like I've only been to the East Coast like a few times, like in trips. So I've never really been there, to be honest. Like really been there, but in like I was I guess near the Appalachians we went to like this theme park, you know. I guess like a state theme park, a you know, state fair type or something. I remember like, you know, we went like um actually I think that was when I was went to Canada, but in one of those trips, we went like this um, um, amusement park or theme park with like you know the merry-go-rounds and like and Ferris wheels and tiny, tiny you know roller coasters with lights and all. Oh come on! So yeah, the bicycle theme really reminds me of that image. Brings up with the image and really good at level twenty-five. Anyway, so he's about to use an Onyx, so let's use Gyarados. We can take care of Onyx without Mankey now. Sorry, Mankey. So yeah. On the trip, we also went to like, um... First, I'll demonstrate Dragon Rage. Yeah. Oh! That's really amazing. I can just take care of you with Bite then. Okay. No bubble beam needed. As I was saying, on the trip, we also went to like, you know... Oh yeah. <laughs> Fool! Fool! You ain't got no Pokemon anymore. And yes, I'm gonna have you leave off the side. It's about time, I guess. Needs a power boost or something. Yep. Really evolved into Charmeleon. Bye, Charmander. I'll miss you. <laughs> sad moment when Charm. I'm mean, happy and sad moment when Charmander evolved. Not to mention Charmeleon was a dick to Ash. So yeah, here's stats. A bit better. Not, I mean, you know, they're great. I mean, a bit better, I'll say that. No, who am I kidding? I mean, yeah, I mean. So here's, you know, Charmeleon's Pokedex entry. And it is a flame Pokemon as well. Tough fights could excite this Pokemon when he said it could blue bluish white flames. And according to physics, you know, let's just say that bluish or white flames would have higher energy than red flames. Because of wavelength, you know, being inversely proportional to the energy. Well, that was completely nerdy of me, wasn't it? Hey, I, you know, I took science classes. A lot of physics and chemistry classes. Oh, reminds me of a lot of staffers and amusement parks. Anyway, so on the trip, I was talking about the other memories I have of that are like, you know, when you're actually, I guess, hiking up the Appalachians and like this guided, guided tour. I think we also like went through like caves, a guided tour through a cave in that tr same trip. I need to be the ultimate trainer, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I don't think so, youngster. I don't think so. Oh, we're gonna use a Pikachu, but okay. Uh, let's try. So yeah, we went on this little hike on the Appalachians and like this guided tour. And I think like it was just raining, but it's also sunny too, so you could smell the rain. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's make a sound flash. <laughs> Damn you, Pikachu, in your low defense. So yeah. I remember the hike to the uh, that's only a critical hit, yeah. I remember the you know, hike to the Appalachians. I'm not I'm not sure so there's some mountain in that area on a guided tour. I guess like you know just because of the sun and the rain and the smell. I century lost? Yeah it did. Huh, suck it. Oh, so this is supposedly AJ from the anime. You know that episode, you know, with the guy with the century and the one hundred wind streak? That's supposedly him. I mean, that is him. You know, the guy who Ash never, you know, fought against again. 
There's a lot of people in the anime who uh, should have had dream, you know, dream matches against, but didn't. Freaking Ash. Anyway, so, happened. Trip, right. So that's another thing I remember. I also remember, like, you know, um, I guess we are in Atlanta. The only thing I remember is, like, I guess we are in, like, this museum with, like, a giant Coke bottle display or something. Oh, this guy has the balls to evolve his Weedle. This is Weedle's final evolution form, Beedrill. Which is a bug and poison type, of course. It's um, more, it's, a, it's pretty offensive, but it's pretty, pretty pathetic. It's, it's the only Pokemon that can learn um, Twin Needle, which is a bug move, of course. It hits twice, and it, can, it has a potential to poison. Not very great, but it's like one of the only, I think it's like the only other damaging bug move in this game, generation. Yeah, bug Pokemon might have it rough in this generation a lot. Anyway, so yeah, that's Georgia. I think that's all I remember from that trip. Focus energy increases your critical hit ratio chance thing for any move. So yeah. Haha, uh, you missed. You didn't do anything to me. Haha. Uh -huh. Now, I was gonna talk about Pokemon the third generation, but I got distracted like a hell of a lot of times. What? What a total waste of time. Nah, I don't think so. It was a good waste of good, you know, experience and all. More than bugs against Strongman. Yes! Screw bugs! Bugs have it rough in this game, so, you know. They shouldn't have the respect. They should have, like, a whole slew of trainers dedicated to them. I mean, it does make me feel better, but here we find a secret ether! So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, third generation. I said, um, in the last episode and ended up there. I ran out of time. That's all. No harsh feelings, and here's a hiker. Oh, come on, dude! I mean, so I've, I've only played Pokemon Sapphire because, well, at that time, you know, I was getting a bit older, in my teenage years, and I guess it was during that time when it's kind of uncool to play Pokemon, so here's Charmander's, I mean, Charmeleon's Lumpy Barney sprite, which I'm not a big fan of, but let's see how stronger it really is. That's it. Oh my god! That's self-destruct. Heavy hitting move. I mean, Judy kills itself, but yeah, heavy hitting move. Was it worth it to evolve, Ridley? I'm kind of, I don't know, I kind of miss you, Ridley. Ridley, Ridley. <laughs> anyway, so third generation. So that's not the time when, you know, it's kind of un. I guess it's kind of uncool for me to play Pokemon, or just uncool to play Pokemon. And not to mention that Pokemon was losing its popularity, I guess. Like, you know, they didn't have that much of an oomph factor anymore. Especially with the anime, I guess, since it was sucking. I mean, to be honest, I hated the Jodo. I mean, that's when I just gave up on the anime. That's hard because I was left, so I never watched the anime, you know, past Jodo. However, I've, however, I've always wanted to like, play some Pokemon Sapphire or Pokemon Ruby, but that required me to get a Game Boy Advance, and my parents were very um, insistent on me not getting a Game Boy Advance. It took years of begging and begging and crying and begging, but I finally got a Game Boy Advance SP. Which is a, I think it's the last, I mean it's a Caterpie, not level 20. What the frick, are you kidding me? You ought to be Dragon Rage to that. Anyway, so, I finally got a, oh, what, Game Boy Advance, SP. And I got, you know, let's just tackle, just because. And I also got Pokemon Sapphire and Donkey Kong Country, the Game Boy Advance port with it. Game, okay, Donkey Kong Country just freaking frustrated me, because it's so freaking difficult. God damn it, rare 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 games. Why do they make why do they have to make your game so difficult? But yeah, Pokemon Sapphire. So yeah, I enjoyed playing through it. It was a fun experience. It was very fun. It was a fun game. Different but fun. Um my verdict on Sapphire, I mean I mean Sapphire is really the only third generation game I played. I never I didn't get Ruby I'm like an idiot. You know, since you know, why have Ruby if you already have Sapphire? No. Then again, yeah. But, you know, Emerald kind of seemed kind of fun, because, you know, there's, you know, the third game is always the one that has the added features to it. My bugs! In this case, it was... <laughs> you bugged me. Well, you bugged me too, bitch. Anyway. Oh. I'm thinking... Okay. That's nice. So you're gonna challenge me just because of that. Hey, um... I'm going through Rock Tunnel... So I can go to the Lavender Town, and then battle ensues. Like, what? What? <laughs> it's 
keep it logic here a little bit. Anyway, so um, like Emerald kind of seemed good. I mean, it seemed kind of fun because you know there's some other features like you know some rematch features, but um, I never got it because that's when I kind of just stopped getting. Pokemon. That's when I kind of stopped caring about Pokemon. You know, it's like middle school, high school, I guess. And you know, there's no way in hell I'm gonna get a new game on an age. And indeed, you know, there's no way in hell I was gonna get a game at all anymore. And I did get, you know, I guess one or two games later on, but yeah, my friends are pretty not so generous in giving me games. I mean, they're not so hot about me, you know, doing games. They're not so hot about me doing this LP, first of all. Yeah. But, I, you know, Confusing is not the same as playing video games, even though it is. Anyway, um, what was I saying now? Okay, so, third generation, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, my judgment on the third generation is kind of skewed by the fact that I didn't have a lot of, ex I didn't have that much of an experience with the games themselves, like, I, I also never got to play Fire Red or Leaf Green, even I did go through Chugga Conroy's um, LP of Fire Red, but yeah, um, like, it wasn't, I guess my judgement on it is, is based on the fact that I can't measure up, I mean my experience cannot measure up to, you know, the experiences I've had with the first and second generations, just because, you know, it's a, just because, you know. I never grew up with the third generation that much. I guess with the third generation, it was like for a new generation of Pokemon fans, which I'm okay with, you know, but yeah. I mean, to this day, I still haven't played, you know, Ruby or Sapphire or the other games. I mean, I mean Ruby or Emerald and the other games, but I don't really intend to. I mean, maybe. I'm kind of interested in playing Emerald. Just because of the added features, like, you know, rematches in Battle Frontier. Okay, let's go to level 26. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, third generation, yeah. That's my view on third generation. Like, it's good. I think it's a close it though, because, you know, I think it's a, I mean, yeah. But I also think that it has a very different taste in Pokemon. Like, it kind of makes Pokemon a lot different. Like, you can feel there's some kind of big difference. And there is a big difference, but. There's a huge difference here. Um, now the fourth generation, I never touched it. Like I never. Well, first of all, I don't have a DS. I never got one. I never will. And you know, there's that. And I never really got it. I was never really interested in the fourth generation that much. I was never excited about you know Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Even though they do sound kind of interesting, especially with the online feature. In the online feature. Which, you know, allows for a lot more, you know, fun. I guess that if, out of the fourth generation games, I'd be interested in having Pokemon Platinum, because, like, you know, the one with the added features and, and all the stuff. And I'd also be interested in either Heart Gold or Soul Silver, just because I grew up with the, with the second generation as well. Like, I embraced, you know, the second generation games, like, a hell of a lot. Kids be tough. I am tough. <laughs> so here we have a trainer. Let's use another one of our potions, shall we? Okay, so yeah, so that's my you know two cents on the Pokemon games. Now the fifth generation. They seem pretty interesting. Right? Okay, I'm not sure what to say about the fifth generation. Um. Especially since it hasn't come out in America yet. Don't you dare condescend me. What did I do to you? I was just biting towards you and just. You just straight out said, Oh, you have a meow. You're a bitch! <laughs> That's never condescending. Heyday! It's an interesting move. Like, for each time it's used, a certain amount of money will be scattered. And we can pick up the money later on, after the end of the battle. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so, the th fifth generation of games, it's only been released in Japan, of course. I guess I've been hearing about it on Cerebi.net, which is also, you know, you saw, you know, from that last episode, or two, or three, 
I'm too much. Yeah, I'm too much. And that's the money I picked up from the payday. <laughs> so I guess I can go down here to go back. So now we are on Route 10. We've somehow passed the rock tunnel. The rock tunnel for us. Nah. We just have to go through the rock tunnel. Now, I should go of water. Interesting. Not interested. We need to pass a grass with wild Pokemon. Oh, 